Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given logarithmic equation and at the end we're going to check our answer for any extraneous solution. So the very first step we're going to get started with is let's simplify this given problem by moving this part, the one that I circled it, to the left hand side. So what happens uh, once we move that one is going to go look like this one log of x with the base 4 once you move this negative part this become positive log of x minus 3 with the base 4 and we are left with only one on the right hand side. Now we're going to in the next step we, uh, we want to compress this problem. So there are two different uh, logs, two uh, logs they are adding up. So we're going to use this fact. That means if you want to compress these two uh, parts that are adding, so this is equal to log of a times b. That means this is your a, this part is your b. So let's go ahead and compress it. So that's going to become log of x times x minus 3 base 4 equals to 1. Let's go ahead and simply distribute this part. So this is going to become log of x square minus 3x with a base 4 equals to 1. So this is in a logarithmic form. We want to move it to we want to convert it to a exponential form and we will be using this fact on the right hand side this fact states that if you want to convert you want to go from logarithmic form to an exponential form we can do the same thing this is our base b this is our a this part is our c so this could be written as x square minus 3x equals to 4 power 1. So this is same as writing x square minus 3x equal to 4. I want you to move this 4 on the left hand side. So we will be having this quadratic equation and we can easily factor this one out. So what are the possible factors? So the possible factor is going to be x minus 4 and x plus 1. Let's go ahead and break them up. Let's split them up. x minus 4 equal to 0 and x plus 1 equal to 0. That means x equal to 4 is one of the solutions and x equal to negative 1 is another one. Now let's go ahead and check our answer for any extraneous solutions. So first we want to check x equal to negative 1. Wherever you see x replace 8 by negative 1. And here I replace x by negative 1 wherever you see x I replace it. And here I want you to just look at this thing log of negative 1 base 4. And as you know that log of negative 1 is undefined. It is not possible. That means this statement is false. So that means that x equals to negative 1 is extraneous. So x equal to negative 1 is not a solution. That means we're going to rule it out. And finally, we want to check our other solution, x equal to 4, for any extraneous issue. So go ahead and replace any x in this original equation by x equal to 4. So wherever you see x, replace it by 4. And here I replace x by 4. You can see that thing. Let's go ahead and simplify some more. So log of 4 with the base 4 
equals to 1 minus log of 4 minus 3 is 1 with a base 4. And now we're going to be using these two facts. So if you have a your argument and your base is same like over here, by this fact it is got to be 1. So that means this part is simply 1. And this part is by this fact log of 1 with any base equal to 0. You can see over here. So let's see if this, this statement is true. Equal to 1 minus 0. So 1 equal to 1 minus 0 is 1. My question is, is this statement true? Yes, this statement is true. Thus x equal to 4 is indeed our solution. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.